I, I, how I, gank's your asshole? <laughs> Cock and balls, then ass, then legs no, and feet. No, you finish on ass. When he was at a house party, one of his mates shot in his freezer. <laughs> Let's go straight down the stereotype route. Fair enough, Aaron. Cancel yourself. <laughs> Chris Akabusi. That was the most venomous, vile episode of the podcast been with nice guy Jack Leto. Can I ask you a question, Jack? Yeah. Did he make you pay for parking? No, I offered. <laughs> I offered to pay for parking. No, he was the only one that had change on him. And oh, I bought him a, I bought him a Coke from McDonald's. Oh, you had to get that in, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a good Cheap guy, date. you know. Cheap date. I picked him up from his house. I drove him to here. Yeah, do you know what? I'm doing this for free as well. Yeah, so, that's you know, what this, I was it asking. goes both ways. <laughs> Mate, so are we, to be fair. <laughs> in fact, we're actually an actively... We're, we're actively, like, yeah. Hemorrhaging, some might say. Yeah. Hemorrhaging really? Money. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Sad that. No, so I, I, I thought I'd offer to pay for parking. It's a it's one pound twenty, uh, and I, the machine won't work. He said that with only one pound five on him. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he was hoping yeah, yeah. you'd have the decency to say no. And then uh, no, he didn't give me an option. He just started putting coins in. No, no, did he insist? Yeah, no, no, I will pay I, for this part. I was looking at for the app thing on there. Yeah. And and yeah, they just. I don't get that. Why has he created beef out of nowhere? Well, I just it's what I saw. So I we got were, on my yeah, car. We were getting along fine. Me and him. We had a nice little drive. We, we, we were singing Glee up, in the you car. You just appeared from nowhere. Yeah. Like, like, in a trench coat. Right, boys, a, I'm going to Hello. <laughs> Do you want me to pay for that? <laughs> well, that was my first thought. I saw you paying for the parking, and I thought, I'll offer it. I thought you were paying for your own parking that you'd driven right. here. And uh, my first thought was, why is Aaron not offered to give him a lift? They're yeah. both based in Manchester. Uh, and then and then when he when he popped up and said, could you pay for mine as well? I thought, I'm not paying for free people's parking, you knobhead. Like, I didn't, I thought you'd come separately for a split second. And then when I realised you'd come together, I just wanted to address why he'd made you. Oh, who me? Hey. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't I just... know why you're creating beef out of it. Me and Jack have been getting along nice. We were singing Glee in the car. That was fun. We well, put the Glee actually... soundtrack on. Yeah. Glee classics. Uh, yeah. No, I can't be doing with that. Glee actively ruined songs for me. I tr- I'm, I'm, I'm acting like I had never watched season one and two. Well, that's the, I only watched season one when it was on. Um, oh, so I'm a bigger gimp because I watched season two as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah mate, that's what I'm I saying. Mean, you're not the one still listening to it. I'm, on the, heart, the, so. I'm the real OG. I go one and out. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. You, you like to keep them on their toes. <laughs> they think Jack Leto's a fan. Well, I'm not coming back for the cliffhanger. <laughs> Liam yeah, yeah. Michelle ringing me up. Come on. Watch, watch two and three and four. <laughs> Doing the best to read a phone. I think I've, I've probably shown myself not more than I know her first name. Yeah. That's probably more. And I made a very niche <laughs> joke about how she can't read. Um, yeah. And, yeah you oh, that'll do well on TikTok. Yeah, it will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to applaud your um, your outfit choice, by the way. Mm. And it's not like a thinly veiled way to insult you, because I'm actually fucking feeling it. I wasn't sure, because I wasn't sure how you're going to come dressed today. Not that I think about how. <laughs> it's like right. every guy that's ever cleaned my car. <laughs> Well, you're fucking making me clean his car when we... <laughs> but you put the McDonald's in the It's going to cost you £1.20. And you're not, we didn't even talk about the fact that I paid for the parking and then it didn't even... The money didn't... Yeah. I'm oh, not, yeah, so he's not paid for anything. He's I'm, just given his money away yeah, to a machine. But you haven't even offered to, like... I'll give you the money, Jack. No, it's all right. <laughs> Imagine that. £1.5, please. Like, the other day in the pub, I put £3 in the juicer machine. Um, the what machine? The juice, the... the um, the, the gambling machine. Oh, but if you if you if you call it a juice, it doesn't sound as depressing, does it? I thought you mispronounced jukebox. So no. did I. <laughs> so did I? Yeah. No, the, that's what you call I've it. I've never the heard gamb- that. The juicer. I don't know if that's I'm going to put a that, bit of money in the juicer. So I put a bit of money in the juicer, uh, and then and then the bloke behind the thing was like, "Oh it, uh, yeah, it's not working at the minute. I could have put a sign on it." He went, "How much did you put in?" I was, "Oh, two pounds fifty. Hundred quid. And he went, "Oh well." He's fixing it next week, so if you give us your name and number, we'll uh, we'll give you your money back. You can come in, collect it. I'm not doing that. Yeah, the banking on you not three doing that. Three pound in that way. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they definitely are able to just unlock it as well and give you your money. Yeah, yeah I'll just get it from the till. I'll get it from then, the till. Then, like, why does it have to be when I'm not lying that I put three pound in? <laughs> the nagging you, the mind. Why didn't they put a sign on it? It's fucking bullshit. Liverpool, like I've got a shoot, I've got umbrage with Liverpool City Council about their parking anyway. Because I do it on the app, and every single time it charges you're you a modern man. 40p yeah. more than it says on the app. The final transaction value 
they take 40p extra out your bank account. I'm like not an agency make... fee. <laughs> well, the thing... well, if you're on a park here, it's going to be 20% <laughs> son. <laughs> Ticket master. <laughs> if, if you're doing really well, I might even get you some parking in Manchester. <laughs> Like you said, though, there's no way I'm going to be sat on the phone for ages to fucking query, like, the f- extra 40p yeah. that they've charged. But that adds up, do you know what I mean? I'm fucking fuming about Back it. somewhere else, then. I'll pay with coins. That's not the point, Jack. <laughs> it's easily solvable. I'm talking about the council. It's all the street parking. So you want me to go to a pay and display and pay more? I don't get what your point I don't, is. I don't understand what your problem is. Yeah, I don't the street, know what you're So the Liverpool City Council do the street parking. And then right. all the other car parks, there's a couple of council ones, but they're all like independent companies and they cost a lot more. Yeah. I'm still saving money by using Liverpool, but it doesn't make it okay that they're robbing me 40 Do you live in time. Liverpool? Yeah. Could you walk to the city centre? It would be like 45 minutes. Yeah, fucking do that then, mate. Problem solved. <laughs> I'd rather pay the extra 40. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> stop fucking morning. Really yeah. brought us together here, aren't you, Jack? Uh, <laughs> Uh, it was my fault for you straight away. Yeah, straight, straight, away. straight away. You lost 120 on that, didn't you? The thing is, I don't think we're on each other's side. No, I think yeah. all three you of us tried to back him up. And he's the one arguing with you now. Yeah. <laughs> this is the most yeah. tedious start to yeah. anything ever. We're called that for Some, a reason. Someone's, someone's going to watch this and go. Oh, no, they're not. He's been cut. Oh, right. It's out. It's out. Great. <laughs> Right, let's begin. <laughs> I'm, I'm well aware of the fact that I am putting myself in the doghouse in this recording. I've instantly, like, fucked up because this is the first time, and I'm, I swear to God, I promise I'll stop talking about the wedding and being married. This is the first time since being married I've left the house without the ring on, and I remembered the second... <laughs> Fucking man single Whoa. tonight. Hey. 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 <laughs> I just know I'm going to be in the shit, and I don't quite know... Why and how to defend? Why? Why? What? So why have you took it off? <laughs> I've, I've done the simulation of taking <laughs> it off. Just in case yeah. I wasn't sure I've what you were talking about. Well. I don't know the wedding finger. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I say that. I don't know the wedding finger. <laughs> like a lie. I like the wedding singer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what? Yeah. Why so you what happened it after off? the wedding? Did you get a wedding finger? Yeah, I've got a wedding finger. I just happened to take that the ring did. off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, lad. So, right? Why have you took it off? Well, I was I got in the shower, right? And you get out of the shower, you put it back on. No, Very just, cheap rings; they can't get wet. I'd, no, I'd, I'd left it on <laughs> one of the mood rings. Well, this quiff doesn't just fucking appear out of nowhere. I have to put shite in my it, hair. It looks like it. Does. <laughs> well, that's that's craft, mate. It's not me fucking first time. <laughs> but yeah, I had to put the hair shit in, and you don't want all that clogged in your fucking rings. So I just take it off for the shower. Yeah. Put it back oh, on afterwards. Out. If you there's um you, you won't have heard of this dish yet, but there was genuinely a thing. It's called soap. You could use that if you wanted to, and then oh, just come wash on, it off. Mate. You just take, you just. I was gonna, I'm, I'm genuinely fuming at you for taking the piss out of me on a comedy podcast. <laughs> I'm like, take me seriously, here, lad. Why would you I could do just that? wash it? Yeah, I mean, I suppose that is an option. <laughs> what, but are you going to be in trouble that you're not wearing the ring? Is I don't think I'm going. It just feels wrong. It feels like like what are my intentions? Do you know what I mean? Why is he not got? Well, the ring I'm on? now worried. <laughs> I'm Do you wanna, I'll drive you to Liverpool. I like your tracksuit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Should we fuck? Don't, don't, <laughs> I don't have my ring on. She'll you've never ruined, know. You've ruined the direction I was taking the podcast in. <laughs> no, like, we do have list. I'm sure that there will be people out there who have noticed it. Some people clock those things. What, the, the, they'll be watching the clip? My aunt. How long have you been married? Like a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. Um, and how many times have you had the ring on on a podcast? Once. All right, so it's, I, 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 I you literally drew attention to something I didn't need to draw yeah, attention you've literally, to. Like that's like, like that's like me pointing out this is the first time I'm here. And also, like, people, <laughs> like yeah, we fucking know, mate. We've not seen you before. <laughs> like, there's no need to mention that. Like, there was every chance as well. It was just recorded a week the before wedding. the wedding. Yeah, yeah. No... you've just made this a thing for no reason. I'll just put it back on when I get home then. Yeah. <laughs> If it makes you feel better, draw it on now. And there'll be like a crude cut of you like, I've got one. <laughs> well, then just keep cutting it and change what finger it's on. Like a little magic trick. How is it being married to Beck now? Because you're making it sound like, like you're scared of her. That whole I've interaction we just scared had. Of her. Are you not scared of your partners? No. Uh, no, you, well... Yes, yeah, I get what you mean. As yeah. soon as he said no, he thought, she might watch this. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm in the doghouse. 
<laughs> she might it, like just 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 batter them. Right, C- cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, I am no way in part of this. <laughs> it's easy, just fucking just chin them, and they, what are they gonna do? Thing is, right, Aaron, like. <laughs> It's a comedy podcast. We know you're joking, but you are the one person out of the three of us that's saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I literally threaten to batter women all the time on stage and it gets laughed at because it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, he's nice and cuddly. Yeah. Like, me, if I say it, they're like, ooh, you cheeky little bastard. I think he's you, a you're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I, I don't dangerous. know if I'm. Uh, I don't know if it's a compliment because all you're saying is I'm the only one capable of battling anyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically. And what you're saying is it's not believable that you could beat a woman up. Yeah. <laughs> not that you wouldn't do it. It's just not possible. I'm, I can't get over the fact you described yourself as a cheeky little bastard, and it's a hundred percent on point. That is your persona, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. cheeky little bastard. Cheeky little bastard. <laughs> I need to. I need to get that merch, don't I? That was great. We'll do that for you. Little, little uh, <laughs> not, not monetizing my idea. <laughs> Um. <laughs> no, but well, seriously, like uh, you do fear your partner to some degree, don't you? Isn't that normal? W- explain. I just that was the end for the end. There, you're, yeah, just, you're just scared I, of it. There's I, nothing I, to explain. He's terrified. I just don't want to give her a reason to be mad at me. Because if she is, it just creates tension, and you want to avoid that tension. Right? Yeah, but that's not. Be, that's just been like, oh, like. She I asked feel me like to clean I'm the dishes, so I better clean them. Otherwise, I'm gonna get there's gonna be aggro when I I'm get gonna back. be battered. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm really, I, I'm struggling here. I, I proper put that together, that sentence together slowly because I'm for the first time ever trying to carefully choose my words because <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not gonna get. She's really not. She's, she's not animal. abusive. I'm making. Like, yeah, <laughs> someone's gonna be calling child line. <laughs> is, it, is it like as soon as as soon as you got married, it's like oh sh- she's gonna beat me up? Now. Yeah, we've got nothing to look forward to now. The big thing we were both looking forward to is gone. What's next? Yeah, kids. I'm not looking forward to that. No, no. Do you want kids? I'm not sure, you know, as, as, because he still is one. Yeah, yeah, He's a that's cheeky real... little bastard. Yeah, it's <laughs> only room for one cheeky little bastard in this There's house. There's only one cheeky little bastard in this house, son, <laughs> and it's got not you. Do the dishes. Your mum wants them done. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't really think about that yet. I, I, like all that stuff. Yeah, it feels like I still feel like I'm a, a bit of a same like, eighteen. Yeah. Like, How old are you? 28. 28, yeah. It's coming, You're nearly isn't it? dead. Yeah. Nearly dead, I know. Nearly dead. I, I, so, so I turned dead. 28, like, two weeks ago, and oh, I, I was... Um... <laughs> <laughs> you sounded so genuine, but it was the fakest shit. You don't give a fuck it was his <laughs> birthday. <laughs> Um, it was on a, I had a Tuesday birthday. You're just negging me. You're telling me what I feel all, all episode. It's been... 14 minutes. All three of us are just trying to get inside each other's heads and break them down. Do you want children, feel, The way it was set up, it feels a bit like that Spider-Man meme as well, where they're all like looking at each other. <laughs> like, yeah, this is the first <laughs> time. Who's paying for the parking? <laughs> Spider-Man doesn't have that problem, does he? That'd be good. Maybe that's where we're going wrong. Um, You were saying? I forgot. Oh, yeah, so I, te- and I was, I, I, I thought I was going to be part of the 27 Club. Um, What's that? You don't know the 27 Club? No. Messing. It's where the like, famous like uh, musicians and artists, which I don't fit into that category, but uh, you do in my eyes. They've Jack. died uh, when the that sound is so genuine, but that was the <laughs> fakest shit that you've ever. <laughs> Sorry, <go on. laughs> they died when they were twenty-seven, so it's like oh. a club of like Jacob Amy Bates. Winehouse, Jimi Hendrix. Yep, I don't think they died. They they were actively. <laughs> what? They, what? They, they are dead. <laughs> this is a conspiracy just... theory. <laughs> no, I like. It's Bill Gates did it. Are you planning to kill yourself? No, they didn't no, they kill, kill themselves. themselves. Well, okay, kick away. Kick away. Yeah. And Amy Winehouse, <laughs> Winehouse, <laughs> Amy Winehouse had an overdose, didn't she? Yeah, but She's... she killed herself by accident. That's like saying someone who stepped on a landmine killed themselves because they took that step. It was an accident. I mean, yeah, you should have been in the war zone, son. <laughs> 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 who else I mean, is that? Is... Who else is part of the 27 Club? You uh, came with this. There's people like, I that have died of... There's various yeah, illnesses. Else, it? It's death. Like, okay. it happens many ways. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only three I know, you know. I'm struggling to think of anyone else. Said? Kirk Cobain, Amy Janice Winehouse. Joplin? I, I, is she in the She was the only other person I was clutching at, but I'm not 100%. I don't even know who that is. Um, um, Beck it! They never leave well, a piece I, of my heart now, babe. That's a tune, yeah. Glee's done a really good cover of that. Fuck oh. off, lad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, like, I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm not in the 27 Club. 
Well, imagine dying on, the, on your birthday yeah. and you're like, oh, 20. <laughs> I nearly made it. Hold on, you you were wanting this? <laughs> no, I wasn't wanting it, but I'm just saying imagine. If, like, it'd <laughs> if be, that was it. You, moment, you're walking yeah. up to the pearly gates uh, and they're like, oh, what do you... You, you missed it, mate. You, missed the, you, you could have been in there. You could have been in there then. with old Janice Joplin. Hey, now look at your gussets. Come and sit over there with take everyone it, else. Ever. Take a look. You're trying to make me go. You're over there with uh, <laughs> Chris Akabusi. He's still alive, but <laughs> my brain was like, he had to think you, of anyone. You've took, <laughs> you've took it this far. Oh, you gonna? Co oh, come on, brain. You're gonna give me some gold here. Is no. uh, isn't Barry Chuckle dead? Barry Chuckle is dead. Yeah, yeah but he's not in the 27 club, no, man. He's still pulled back. Isn't it? He could have been in the I think the he's in the 147 club, club Barry <laughs> Chuckle. Um, oh, that'd be great, though. Running through heaven. Just me and Barry just running towards each other. Damn. Running to him. <laughs> what? Running towards him. Yeah. And running towards to, you. To him. <laughs> to him, to him. <laughs> oh. 27 club was the name of a, um, like a social club I used to go to when I was really? younger. It, that was like opposite. A police station. Did you do roulette at the end of the night and then kill someone. <laughs> no, oh, I, I went Russian with the rule. <laughs> with the roulette. I know. It's quite I, sinister, isn't it? I went casino. <laughs> Twenty what? <laughs> the Twenty Seven Club was a. Uh, it was it was like where loads of like local bands would play and stuff. Right. But it was called the Twenty Seven Club because it was opposite a police station, and it's nine 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 put together. So nine plus nine plus nine uh, is 27. Right. But the irony behind it is it was opposite a police station and it's where the most underage... <laughs> <laughs> We're doing maths, Jack. We're doing maths on the podcast. For the benefit of the audio listener, Jack part? is asleep. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so even... there's a police station opposite, right? And do you know, nah, nah, nah. I'm I was just plus... about to get to the point. <laughs> but I'm done with this it This episode is going to end with all three of us dead. Never 20, speak to each other again. <laughs> 31 and 28. It's all of us dead. It's <laughs> all killed each other. 25? 25, yeah. 31? Yeah. All right. Why do you seem so surprised? I How thought you were a lot older than no, that. A he lot sounded older, surprised he says. at you. He didn't sound surprised. A lot no, older, no, he says. <laughs> 31, yeah. How old do you think I look? You said a lot older. 40, 40s. You put me at 40s. Yeah, I, like, yeah, it yeah. Wouldn't, no, people sometimes think I'm in my 40s. Like, Who? Some people after the gigs. This woman came up and she went, we're just yeah, yeah, because midlife crisis is your are you, set. That's what are you eighteen <laughs> or are you forty two? Like that was the genuine. We're having a bet. What a really horrible you're thing like to you've say. Never done a like gig. Wearing a flat cap. <laughs> yeah. That's why the fucking ass. That's what I'm saying. Dick. Like his midlife crisis is on stage. Isn't it? Like, that's what it looks like. <laughs> he goes on stage with a scooter and a flat cap, and he's like, "Oh, I don't know why they think I look a bit older." <laughs> you're literally you wearing a flat cap tracksuit today. That right. looks like a flat cap. <laughs> yeah, you've gone too far now. Don't offend me. I like it. It's better than what you two are wearing. I like what it. What have I said? <laughs> I was defending you in mean, come <laughs> Don't be horrible. You don't need to promote the podcast on the podcast. <laughs> like, How else what's you... the point of that? How else do you... And the mic's covering it, so you'd be like, what's... <laughs> How else are you supposed to get the message out that you have merch not yet for sale? <laughs> Oh. That was the most venomous and fucking vile episode of the podcast. The most fucking eggy bim with nice guy Jack Leto. He's a fucking cunt. It's all, <laughs> I love uh, it. It's all a facade, isn't it? You've got a fucking... <laughs> You're trying to break up the band. That died yeah. in, at 27, two weeks ago. <laughs> That's what The bitterness. <laughs> the bitterness came. Yeah. You horrid, horrid man. Anyway, how are you doing, Liam? Yeah, I'm all right. You good? Mate, yeah. yeah. I, I forgot to put That's my wedding ring on. That's all I have to contribute today. Yeah, you should talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very serious question I wanted to ask. Okay. I'm scared to ask Me it. I don't feel Jack. like I'm going to be judged. But I, what order? I'll go with Jack first. All right. What order? Did you, you get dressed? Yeah. <laughs> genuinely, that was the what question. Do, what, what do you mean? What order do you get dressed in? Oh, right. Was that genuinely? That was, was genuinely the question, I swear, that. Underpants, socks. Yeah. Um... Not winning the or poo, sometimes underpants, trousers, top, this, socks, shoes. Hang on, right, you preface this as a serious question. It, it is serious. Are you doing a survey? What's wrong with I you? I am doing a survey. I want to know yours in a minute. All right, so you gave two different options then. Yeah. Very dramatically different, so you go... Well, I, I, I don't think about it. There's, Surely you, well, it's something you don't have to think about. It's such a routine yeah, I, I that's ingrained. I do ingrained. change it up sometimes. Why? Because I'm, I'm just, I'm just I might put a top on. I might be Bollocker from, from the waist down. <laughs> like like Donald down. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky oh, little bastard. Taking parcels in, just like, oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? What order do you get dressed in? Uh, I just underpants. 
<laughs> underpants. Yeah, okay, underpants. <laughs> underpants. <laughs> Boxes. Um, and then my, my normal pants, my T-shirt, socks, shoes. What the fuck? I, fu- I think I'm the weirdo here. Yeah. What? Shoes first, and then socks. <laughs> No, I just yeah, thought I don't. Right, I don't get the when you first spoke. I was like, "All right, I'm not the way you were." You when you first said it, you said underpants, socks, pants, top. I'm not really asked about the order of them. My issue is why are you putting your socks on after you've got everything else on? That's weird to me. No, because you. Were, I'm. 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 I'm pottering about the house. Like I'm not. Yeah, left. I don't need I'm to not put leaving socks yet. On yet. Like I'm. It, the the floor. Socks nice. are an outdoor. Yeah, an outdoor. But if you're getting dressed anyway, do you not just put? No, because sometimes if if I'm getting dressed and I, I, to, to what happens sometimes? So here's the real reason: I've put the socks on and I've nipped in the bathroom. <laughs> it's wet. This. It's wet. I've got wet socks. Got a new pair of socks on. Yeah. Okay. So I, I've got uh, like because because I pissed on the floor twenty minutes ago. And I forgot about <laughs> it. Ah, oh, you bloody! Like. See, I went from being fuming. So, so it being perfectly yeah, rational. It's, it's logical. I get that. I do get that. My main concern was that my missus does the same thing and I thought that she was weird for doing it but I think you'll agree with me she's weird in this regard she so fully I I won't I won't I'm scared of her (laughs) fully dressed (laughs) fully dressed but she goes sock shoe sock shoe I think that's bad that is weird that is backwards. So she's just got it? one shoe on, but no socks. No, no, she's not wandering around the house. No, but she like, does it all in one at, go. At some point. At some point, She yeah. will have a shoe on. She goes on one foot, but not a sock on the other. I thought it was weird enough that she was fully dressed without socks or shoes on, but obviously you don't think that's weird and you provide a rational yeah, uh, response evidence, for it. But yeah. to go sock, shoe, sock, shoe, that just doesn't sit right with me. I think that's well, I mean, dead weird. That's that. She's obviously, she puts gloves on. Glove, glove, and she's applied the same logic to the feet. <laughs> that's what she's done. Like, she's gone. Well, if if it if that's the way it works here, that's how it works down there. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm full of the dynamite topics of conversation. No, I'm, these I'm, are serious I, questions. I, genuinely, that is odd. That is really odd. What what order do you wash yourself in the shower? I think that one's always up for debate. Oh, okay, I'm scared. Straight though. to. Start with your hair. I start on my hair because you got to leave the shampoo well, and the conditioner in for And then it, it dribbles down, doesn't it? And you got extra. And that's it. Yeah, it just gets out. Yeah. <laughs> Wash his hair, just lets it dribble, and that's it. I disagree with both of you. What? What do you start with? I go face, arms, armpits, body, cock and balls, legs. <laughs> You're gathering him in. <laughs> cock and balls. Oh, it's got stuck in the shower again. <laughs> <laughs> this it from the drain. Oh, I left out ass, cock and balls. Then ass, then legs. No, and you feet. finish on ass. No, you don't because then face is the first thing I wash, so I'm not going ass to face the next day. Joe, I use a sponge. Uh, you Why use a sponge? Sp- like a car sponge. Not like a car <laughs> a big sponge. Big jumbo sponge. Like a, like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that the funniest? Why have I made you laugh more than anything? I use a sponge. Is that weird? Is that yeah. messy? <laughs> Does your wife fucking bath you as well? Like, has he got one of those? Time to clean the one whale. Of those things where with a ciggy like... in her mouth like that. <laughs> yeah, and then she comes in and with she puts one the... shoe on, <laughs> and then she gets the jug for his hair. <laughs> so what? What's your sponge? Is it like a little scour, like from the pot? Or something? It's one of those sponges that has like a, a scrapey bit on the bottom. So Joe, you know, kind of like a dish sponge where it's got like the scrubber on the bottom. It's right. like a bath. Ba- Bath sponge that has the same thing. You get them from Home Bargain and a pack of free, 89p. And how many times do you reuse the sponge? Yeah. Until the sponge is dead. Dead. Right. The sponge pretty I don't know the sponge pretty much you know when to change it. So isn't that sponge filthy? Quite possibly, yes. Yeah. I love so the yeah. I love the logic, sorry to interrupt you, Jack, that he doesn't <laughs> wash his ass last because if he washes his legs, that'll get all the arse juice on. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's able to wash his face the next day. <laughs> Completely arse free. But it's all As hot water not... and suds. The sponge is getting clean too. No. Yeah, it is. No. It's not. No. So how do you build up? A, do you, what do you use? No sponge, just hands. Um, I, I, I dabble. Um, I've got... <laughs> You're hardcore, you <laughs> Jack I've, got, I've, I've actually got a bar of soap that says ass on one side and face on the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. genuinely do. Hang on, you use a bar of soap? That's yeah, not equally as nonsense. But no, no, I've, I've just recently upgraded to hotel. Upgraded? Um, upgraded to hotel free so complimentary. <laughs> Because I take them home with me from a gig, yeah. and then I'm like, well, so I've got a cupboard full of them, so I've started using them. And yeah. like, well, uh, Elemis and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're really nice, them. You can't get a soap I can get on board, right? Because the whole thing's just creating suds. If you, so you rub that bar of soap directly on you, 
Yeah. That, yeah. Well, I so I I don't really. I'm a bath man. I, I love a bath. That's also very yeah. That's sad. To me. Bath. Why? What, what what you you put candles on and shit and you just have a nice no I just oh, no that's nice I can get on board with that I don't I don't okay, do a bath sorry. for like me normal day right. to day yeah like, well, I, don't, I was out of line and I'm sorry I was out of line so I'm I, sorry wait, when get I a bit some... of neo on yeah it's not okay that's an event I, I agree with Aaron saying that's an event I've had a, a stressful day I want to relax I'll exactly. have a nice but ev- like, not every day I don't have that. a bath the it's, time it's, so when I'm at an hotel, my parents' house, like I, I get in the bath. <laughs> yeah, mum just coming around, she used to shit too and have a bath. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> it's the only time she sees you. <laughs> you never go around. Um, I have a, I have a, a, a shit stool as well. Do you know? Do you know what potty? Uh, well, yeah. What to put well, your feet it's, on? It's, yeah, yeah, because it's that's the best way to shit. Oh. Um, I was sorry I'm embarrassed in bodies once so far. Fucking having that. Um, I have also heard this, so I don't want to judge it. I've never done it. It's it's good. I haven't got one at the minute at the at the the house, but um, does it actually change the game for you? Because isn't that naturally what they did yeah, before well, toilets? People would have like just shat on the floor, low down. <laughs> I'm giving him facts. Yeah, he's seen that. <laughs> he's seen the picture of evolution of man. That's what they're doing at the start. <laughs> they're just having a shit at the. Like, they were fully grown blokes, but they were just walking around shitting all the time. <laughs> I often, oh yeah, his laugh's outrageous. You've just got to let it happen. You what, was he it. like taken aback um, by that laugh yeah. then? <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, it's you just got to. I've been accused of it being <laughs> fake by uh, someone who watched the Oh, podcast. my laugh gets accused of being fake like all the time. Fuck. I can't like, fake that emotion. Y- you're lucky you've not heard it yet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you will, mate. <laughs> Stop nagging us. Um, <laughs> I, I genuinely, every day is a daily occurrence where I sit on the toilet for so long, like playing words with friends and that and going on TikTok. Yeah. That my legs fall asleep so mm. much, like Joe from leaning on him. But to the Stand point up where, and like, just face plant the floor. <laughs> yeah. Like to the point where I have to go and lie down, like on the bed. Because it's like, until the blood right. goes back to him. Like they are fucked. Like, I can't move my legs. What's really concerning me about this conversation is that each one of us is describing their like rituals as if they're perfectly normal and expecting at least one of the others to get on board. All f- I'm baffled by each and every one of us. Each one of us is bringing up something where I'm going, what the fuck are you on about, mate? I can't get on board with any of you. What, what do you mean? You'd never, you'd never use a stool? No. All right, okay. I would try. I understand the logic. Yeah. But I can't be arsed with the hassle of having an extra thing in the bathroom. Yeah, so that is the thing. I'm yeah, no to that. Can you not get one of those collapsible ones? That is what it is. It's one of them collapsable ones, and it please, it comes down. My um, but my girlfriend's got one at the minute, and it's a bit too big. It's like it's quite a long one, and it, it's too extreme. It's like, <laughs> it's like it's like oh, I'm not prepared for that. I tried it, and I was like, that's too no. We we have to draw a line <laughs> there. That's too no. I had a semi on and just started pissing up the wall. <laughs> it's like the best one is like a, a, a train or a bus poo because the, it, when what? it's moving, it's just like that, the movement. You don't need the stool because never. It's, it's, you never had a shit on a train. I've never, I've never been on a bus with a toilet. What you never been on a mega bus? Or? Oh, that's a coach. It's not a bus. All right, sorry. Oh, oh don't be so fucking yeah, pedantic. Well, you set the tone. I'm being pedantic. We're all being pedantic. Mega bus. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not a mega, mega coach, bus. is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, soap. You use soap, that's odd. How are you? Oh, I don't shower. <laughs> that's in the part one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just use uh, I just use a little like uh, little shower gel and that, lather myself up, like put it on me like it's honey and that. But you use like Rub loads of it though. That's the thing. The sponge, you just suds it up. Nice it depends pretty. what because well, I've got bath. I don't know why I keep visually showing you be putting <laughs> shampoo in my hand or salt on chips. Um, I can't tell. Drumstick, um, drumstick uh, bath and shower. That's the yeah, that's, that's in the sweets. Yeah, it's the drumstick uh, chewy flavor. Oh, it's you, you come out with the bath smelling like a sweet. <laughs> I'm I'm an original sauce mint kind of guy. Oh. Uh, it makes me feel sad that I think that that was Fresh a phase for me that that was when I was trying to feel stuff down yeah, there. You feel you know like I mean? have you had one? Oh, I'm dead. Down I had there. one which had like grit in it, and it's like you're massaging you. Oh, it's fantastic. Did, it's yeah. like oh, yeah. it's brilliant. Yeah, but then you're finding them down your shaft for fucking for months afterwards, aren't you? Are you? I don't have a foreskin. Do you know? I don't have a foreskin. Have we not talked about this before? We've talked about this before. Oh, well, he he does, but he forgot to put it on before the podcast. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> his mum's going to be furious. <laughs> he left his foreskin at home. <laughs> What's up, guys? The podcast is growing and we're dead happy, but we need your help. What we need is for you to start sending us in your most embarrassing moments, the worst things that you've ever done to yourself or someone else, and most importantly, what you want to get off your chest. So email us in at spreadnegativitypod at gmail.com. And if it's not shit, we'll read it out in a future episode. But I've got faith in you. It'll be fine. Pause it here. Go and send us something in and then we'll read it out. Do it. And as always, if you could like, comment and subscribe, give us five star ratings on all the platforms that'll let you do it. It just means that more people will find us. And it's a big, big help. Like we said, the podcast is growing quicker than we expected and we're buzzing with the support. We really are, but we want to grow bigger. If you can, please keep telling your friends about us. Drop the link to the episode into your group chats and help us spread more negativity. You're the greatest. We love you. Let's get back to the episode. Did you try the new method when you went for a little poop, sir? I didn't go for a poo. Just because oh. I took a second longer than him doesn't mean that I went for a shit. I thought you were just... <laughs> just the, the abrupt ending to that section sort of made me feel like... <laughs> I just to really yeah, he was like, oh, oh, <laughs> all this shit talk. <laughs> Let's get it going. Did no. you did you take your stool to Edinburgh with you? No. No. Uh, I, I improvised a bit with the bin in the bathroom. <laughs> the, the yeah. <laughs> you know, you know I felt honest. Just the phone book. Those little... Um, them little tin bins that yeah, are about yeah. like that, and, and it's got it's got one of them foot pedals on, but they never work on them yeah, little yeah. ones because yeah, they're like because they just end up falling, <laughs> falling over, don't they, they? Yeah, you feel you feel awful. You feel like you, it's a human, and you, you're like you're putting it through pain every time you press it. <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> <laughs> I have a son. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get all this shit? Like it's like the bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> I don't what? use tampon, is it? Um, <laughs> I went too far, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I um, uh, like the. Are uh, you? We had um uh, in the kitchen. We had one of them bins where you wave over it. Do you know where you wave and it? Oh, well, I've never even heard you. of such bins. Well, you, you wave and it. Comes oh, yeah. I've heard of them. I'm not that broke. No, I've never heard of them. Yeah, <laughs> I've had them through osmosis. We haven't got them. Is it going to get home and be like, <laughs> hello? <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> <laughs> what the problem he's got? He only has bathroom bins even in his kitchen. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> it's that little tiny thing. Just like, like one I'm not gonna fit in here. <laughs> like, I've got normal bins, lad. Just upset me now. I feel like you're picking on me. Just get me bins in there. Oh, God. Okay. After <laughs> every episode we've done on this, oh, now God. you feel picked yeah. on. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> I ain't that broke. <laughs> Oh, uh, fucking hell. That's the last time we hung out was Edinburgh, the yeah, Edinburgh yeah. Fringe, uh, a couple of months ago. It was, it was about a month and a half ago now, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah you um, you came to my show and then we met, I uh, saw you after, we had a drink, and then we, I bumped into Tegan and we went for a meal at a pub and that was nice. And then we played pool and you absolutely oh, destroyed yeah. me. Did he? Oh, yeah. but um, do you know, it, I, I started to get the ick of myself because I'm so shit at pool, but against... Were you, was he really that? Were you really that? Oh, bad? he's just oh, awful. Oh, 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 oh bothered pool, all uh, No, are you bad? Are you really? I'm all right. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't bothered at all. But I'm not good at pool. But it looks like Ronnie O'Sullivan against. Sometimes fucking... though. Well, go on against who? Another <laughs> pool player against who? Play go on. Has well. bullet. <laughs> Can't reach the fucking save. <laughs> Can you explain the context, by the way? Uh, no, oh, he's, we, he's um... absolutely terrifying. <laughs> like every the dog, I forget he's there. <laughs> um. No, I can't. Did you just think, <laughs> oh, no, it'll be dead cool, right? Like, if we have No, we didn't think it would be cool at all. We didn't think it would be cool. We just thought we we'd need. Genuinely, we started, because obviously we rent Have a Word second studio, but also, like, Mild High Club rents it. Uh, previously, there was a couple of other podcasts. Yeah. There was about six podcasts that we recorded in here at one point, um, and we needed it to look different. Right, okay. So we were just sort of scrambling to put random shit in. To shop, it is but. really funny, but it's, I think one time when the bud, when when you go big time, boys, yeah. you you need we're to pay for Asbola to stand there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beth just that. Don't reference it all episode. <laughs> just a couple of times, he'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> Beth said that. Do you reckon we could ever get so big that he's a guest? Yeah. Well, that's going to be a brutal episode, isn't it? When we can't talk to him. <laughs> you on Duolingo for three oh, months leading up to it. Just, just him sat here and cardboard cut out to so YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> probably be more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> Is he going to say anything now? Probably not. No. <laughs> uh, sorry to interrupt you, so. um, but the, I realised halfway through the story that she's in the industry, uh, so it's getting cut anyway. Oh fucking hell! That was been cut. Well, that was about fifteen minutes. We're never getting back. <laughs> Thirteen and a half. <laughs> <laughs> uh,
Should got we any? do a couple of features? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got features. This is exciting. I've got, yeah. I've got features, mate. It's exciting. It's like chip It's very exciting. Um, so we do a couple of features uh, where we ask people to send in the worst thing they've ever done. Maybe something embarrassing that's happened to them. If they want to get anything off their chest. And we've got two that we can choose from. Uh, they've going, We actually, we did these on Dean's. We didn't do the features, but we announced them on Dean's. So okay. we've got two that we can choose from. With a few more, but I'll leave, I'll do these ones. I'll give you the options of these because these have been in the inbox for the longest. Um, it's a lot of filler for no reason. It's all right, just tell us. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, just fucking gets it. Point. I've got got lunch tomorrow. <laughs> got a lunch day. <laughs> uh, so got worst neighbour ever. Or am I a sex worker? Oh, dealer's guest choice. Go on. I don't know. I want them both. Can no. we have them both? No. <laughs> no, you can't. Don't do. We can do them both if you want. Um, yeah, let's start with neighbour. Worst neighbour ever? Okay, good stuff. Right, so, Steve Moore Are says, they from, like, the neighbour and then the am I the sex yeah. the same? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the same right, I'm Steve Moore's neighbour. He is, he is the worst neighbour ever, yeah. <laughs> you may be a sex worker. Steve Moore says, big Steve, uh, am I the worst neighbour ever? When I was leaving for work the other night, I was locking my front door and I heard my next door neighbour shouting my name. As I turned around, she told me her mate had turned up and wanted a pint of cider, but she didn't have a pint glass and asked me if I had one. I said, of course, and quickly ran inside to grab a glass. Why don't she have a glass? It's a bit mad, isn't it? Only having one, do you reckon she only has one plate and one set of night? Like- turned up, wanted a pint of cider, but she didn't have a pint glass. <laughs> so just have two mugs. Why don't have two? Have it from the can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or the bottle, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Unless it's a really big bottle. One of them bigger. Be frothy <laughs> jacks. Yeah. Sounds like she's the worst neighbour ever. <laughs> fucking scum living next door to you. <laughs> What is this just me? And I went in the house and I didn't have any spare. I'm How so can I live sorry. With <laughs> no, it's much worse. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> uh, I said, of course, and quickly ran inside to grab a glass. As I was in a rush, I didn't check the glass. And the one I gave her, I took a piss in the night before. I'd been in the hot tub and didn't want to piss in the water. <laughs> Right, okay. that's the only option. Imagine, <laughs> imagine having a hot tub, doing that well to have a hot tub. He just wants to flex. He's got a hot tub, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. He don't even have a neighbour. So <laughs> I went in the house. I skipped over the Lamborghini in the living room, <laughs> <laughs> and I looked in the cupboard. And, and me pub. Don't forget me pub, which was twelve hundred. Well, well, I walked into the bar at the back, and we'd ran out of cider. <laughs> Go on, what, I want to know what, what has happened. I just grabbed it and gave it her, but the worst part is I'm actually missing that glass and I want it. I don't think that's the worst part that he's missing the glass. Worst part is I'm missing that glass and want it back, but I don't know if I can face it. Am I the worst neighbour ever? Why, what, what's wrong with going. the glass? He's pissed in it. He's pissed, he's in, pissed in, it. in it. He pissed in he the didn't glass. Leave when? The that's night a, before. The night Which before, is even more right. scummy, innit? Because why have you not washed it in 24 hours? But a hot tub's hot, innit? Would that not So just, it's work. The, so oh, the, when I was leaving for work the other night, Pissed in it the night before. That's been sitting. So what's he done? He, he got give... pissed in it. He's just emptied it and then handed it. Up. That's, I mean, I've done worse. <laughs> Have you? Stop. Yeah, I've done worse. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to. Well, you've got who now, haven't you? Just, I was stupid. I was a teenager. I was in a nightclub. My mate did a piss in a pint glass and I went over to a stranger and went, I bought you a drink, mate. Fuck off. And then they drank it. It was hot piss, of course. He didn't fucking drink it. He oh, just right. <laughs> ignored it, but yeah. Well, it's not that bad then. Someone might have mind sweeped that later on though. <laughs> I think this is worse then, because he's not washed the glass out. But it's, it's it, he, so he said he pissed in the hot tub. No, no, he didn't. He didn't want to piss in the hot tub and all he had on him was a glass. So he, so stood, he stood up and, up and, and pissed, pissed in, glass, in it. Okay. Put the glass so he's out halfway on. to the bloody toilet at that point. Just get <laughs> out. And also, I'd rather he, piss in the out? hot tub. Has he got out? Like, so, so then he can't drink from that glass anymore. It's clear that he's there because he's got a drink. I don't, it doesn't sound like he's like, He's not gonna. Drink he's the he's glass. not washed like, it. He, he said he's missing it. it and wants it back. All right. He's not that bad because piss is sterile. What? You just knock on the door. And say, can, can I have that? Can I have that glass back? I, I think you know if he can face her. I don't. <laughs> I think you only he knows that he's pissed in I mean, that glass, and now we know. Yeah, there's about fifteen hundred people that are gonna know. Now. <laughs> 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 yeah, piss is sterile. It's not that bad. And. You've said his name, so yeah. like I reckon we could easily find out who his neighbour is. And, and I've got his email. <laughs> You've got his email, yeah. Should we track him down? I think, I think, send him a link to this. Yeah, can we send him a glass that we've all pissed in? <laughs> 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 it's a gift for you from the pod. Is that our first piece of memorabilia? Just, yeah, yeah. just send him a shit in a Tupperware. <laughs> <laughs> Merch. <Jillian laughs> Won't Keith. get me wearing that on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. But I have how could you not think it's... A, like, um, I don't know. Like, I think have I, I told you the story of... Uh, my old boss told me this, that when he was at a house party, one of his mates shat in his freezer. 
What? Have I told you that before? You, how? He was oh. at a house party and just like, as a joke, just shattering his freezer. How and then you... three nights later, he was making some almond chips, went to go and get them out of the freezer and there was just a solid so I didn't they? Frozen shit. It yeah. wouldn't have stunk though, because it's frozen. No, but it's still That's not ideal, not is it? Yeah. I don't think I'm beating those chips. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'd get rid Why of is he constantly going, hey, well, it's sterile to be fair. There's yeah. no problem here. Oh, well, it won't have stunk because it's frozen. <laughs> as if that's not a problem. And to be fair, <laughs> he, he, he took everything out of the freezer so he could put his feet on the yeah. all of it. <laughs> so, you know, he didn't use anything. On the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> oh, have, you, do you, have you ever pissed or shit in a peculiar place? Oh yeah, I've 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 shat the bed. I've shat um, the bed. I've shat the bed. I've um, I've shat on a walk home when I was like coming home from school once. <laughs> um, what age? Uh, probably about a level 14, 15. <laughs> yeah. I've never had a wild shit. Phil, I, 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 like, <laughs> I was walking home and I, I had to kick it out because it rolled down. I had to kick oh, it Oh no, I've to, seen like CCTV footage of people in a supermarket. I had to kick it out, that. but luckily it was timed right when there was a bush, but there was someone walking behind me. So I had to make it look like I just sudden dog shit. And I, I just went. <laughs> Did you have your own shit on uh, your shit? No, no, it, it skipped it, but I just made it like, mm, mm, be careful. Like, All right, so. I, Usually when you caught short, it's a bit like it's like a wetter poo in it. No, it was just like like just bloop. slid down. And then I, I, I ra- gapes your asshole. <laughs> what were you getting done at school? Well, <laughs> what was I, happening to you with Ari? <laughs> I had like a, I had like an hour and a half walk, and I thought I could make it, and I kept sitting down and being like, I really need a toilet. And then when I got to the street, yeah, do squats that always helps. When I got to the street, <laughs> the neighbor's kid came and gave me a hug. And like put her arms around like, and I was like, out. get away. A kid squeezed yeah. the shit out of you. Probably, yeah. <laughs> no, I'd already shat myself at this point. And I walked in. I walked in the house. <laughs> so you've been carefully juggling I've caked, it. Keeping it within you. <laughs> and I walked I walked in and I went, Oh <laughs> Mum, I've shat myself. Um and they went, We know some, we've known for a while. No, um, <laughs> We, I said, I've shot myself, and she went, oh, you dirty bastard, get in that shower now. Like, and you're like, no, I only have but when you get in the, when you get in the shower, make sure you do your shampoo when you head first, and then, you, and then the shit lasts. And then you kick the shit out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking Horrible. hell. Horrible. Yeah. I've, um, I've, I've had a brainwave about steak. Okay. The man's a genius. All right, why? How annoying is it when your neighbours constantly ask to borrow stuff? Ah. <gasps> Shit in the lawnmower. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's one way to get them to stop my isn't it? If you hang them up with yeah. a pie glass full of your piss. <laughs> that smells a bit like that. That, that, that cider's off. Like, <laughs> she still drank it. I mean, if, she, I, if she's the type of person that needs a glass for the cider, she's still drinking it. Yeah, Whenever I would do stuff smells. like growing up, like oh, my mum didn't have fucking any tools and there was a carpet fitter across the road. So I'd go and borrow his hammer all the time. I'd be a lot less inclined to go and knock on if he covered it in human shit. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he he yeah. Do you know what I mean? Steve's a genius. Yeah. We were thinking, oh, fucking hell, Steve. Yeah. Bit, I'm not going to judge you. Yeah, I don't, I don't judge him for that. But Big up. I, I was judging you, but now I've seen the error in my ways. So mm. I might actually, I'm going to take a shit in the sugar next time someone comes <laughs> around to us. <laughs> Well, Both so you're going to shit well, on everything on piss on everything in your house just so that no one not yet <laughs> not yet just just, when they come what are you doing there I'm just marking my territory <laughs> <laughs> just when they come round oh if you got um, I don't know warm mower just take a little shit put it around the blades as soon as they turn it on <laughs> so you're making the effort to smear it on yeah you got to fucking commit aren't you you're a madman. you got to commit to the cause I'm concerned that he had a because it sounds like he's not much of a a schlub mm. if he's got a hot tub. But that was his that was his first port of call. Normal, normal people p- p- are pissing. I, p- I piss all over the place. Not in a pint glass that you own, man. though. No, I've, I've, I've pissed, I pissed in like the grids in the backyard when I was younger. And I couldn't That's be fine. To the That's I've fine. had to piss in a glass before going on stage, like backstage before. Like, uh, no toilets. Um, well, I didn't, think, I didn't know there was. And there was. That's even like, I thought the toilets were uh, the other side imagine of the room. You walked in and you were just like, oh. I was imagine just... you walked on carrot like it was your pint. <laughs> you had that little time. I was drinking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot. That's for you, that mate. <laughs> uh, Steve's a genius, actually. I've just, um, should we, should Fair we, play, Steve. I like that. Should, yeah. we do, uh, should we do the other one? Yeah, I want to find out the other one, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Should we save it? No. no we're, we're <laughs> I want this. Well, we've got this far, you know what I mean? Um, Gavin Brooks says, Hi guys, never sent a message slash email to a pod before and just wanted to say I started listening mid-July and just caught up with all the episodes. It's great. It makes my commutes into London every morning much better. 
Dirty Southern. He is Southern, yeah. That's my <laughs> thoughts as well. She was being right. so sincere. Like, ah, go fuck yourself, you Southern fairy. Uh, I want to tell you a story and I need you to decide whether or not I'm a sex worker. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve 2014. I'm out with the boys. Drinks are being net. <laughs> Well, they weren't steez. Yeah. Uh, drinks are being necked and the Christmas spirits are in full flow. The night's going well and after one too many drinks, I thought it'd be a good idea to DM a girl I'd met in a, in a bar a few weeks earlier. She replies and he's by a happy coincidence across the road in another bar. A few messages back and forth and before we know it, I'm fingering her in the back of a cab and on the way back to hers. Don't mince your words. What you got? <laughs> Savage. We get back to hers and after laying down the best pipe and for context, I'm not a plumber by trade, I decided to get a cab... <laughs> Just in case you were wondering, Jack. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? Gav the lad. <laughs> These are our fans, these, Jack. Yeah, show some respect, mate. <laughs> I decided to get a cab home due to it being the early hours of Christmas day. I ordered the cab and being pissed, I cheekily ask her for £20 to get home and with no questions asked, she gives me the money and I get the cab and go home. We never saw each other again and after, after that and I never paid her back. So my question to you is, did this woman pay me for sex and am I a bad person? Your thoughts would be appreciated. Keep up the good work with the pod guys. Gav. No, you pay for your taxi, mate. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> end, end of pod. What are you on about? <laughs> you, you, it's just so that he has something to, like, do you know when people have something, I've got something for you. I don't even think it's a case of like so the, did i get paid for sex is kind of like the i'm coming out on top of this story i think she just paid 20 quid to get rid of you yeah, as quickly yeah. as possible <laughs> i don't think that's what happened mate i don't think you're a sex worker i think it says a lot about your sexual prowess but i do appreciate you listening to the pod and i hope you continue <laughs> i'm of a completely different opinion i fucking that's king shit that for years men have been letting the le woman leave their house. We've been chivalrous. We've been paying for their taxi home. It's about fucking time. I I, I, I think he's been paid for sex there. He no. never saw her again. She's given him 20 quid and he's fucked Too off. Too fuck no, off, he, yeah. He, he asked, Too fuck off. I need it for the taxi. He didn't say, <laughs> yeah. oh. She didn't go to your love, but it slid it, it into his ass, ass okay, pocket. Okay, if, if, your, if your missus starts doing OnlyFans, like what she spends it on, that's not like she's got that money. After having so, sex with some, after after that, being on that, only fans is a bad example. By that theory, though, you can sleep you. with any sex worker and give them twenty quid, and then then when they get their car home, you're like, well, I've just paid for their petrol. I wasn't that's paying exactly for the sex. That's exactly what I'm saying. You're, that's what you said. Yeah, but I, like I'm You're saying, saying you fight. said by. Am I saying my own fight. opinion? Yeah. Fight, fight, fight! <laughs> you did actually, <laughs> yeah, you, did, you did actually back him up. All right, okay. <laughs> yeah, like I'm on You're your side, to and you backed him me. up. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. By that theory, what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. I'll be honest with you. What's the worst thing that you've ever what done? What he spends the taxi on isn't... What? No, we're not done. Oh, don't oh, let, don't sorry, let him sorry. be shitting myself. I've already revealed it. That was literally... <laughs> What he spends the taxi on, that's nothing to do with her. She's He's had sex with her. She's given him 20 quid. He said it's for the taxi. It doesn't have to be. He's asked, hasn't he? She hasn't just given him 20 quid and go, we are, love. Get yourself a little something. He said, I need 20 quid for a taxi. And she's gone, please do fuck off. I don't think she did that. I don't think she did yet. <laughs> I don't think she got, please fuck off. Why does, so you're, you're, just, you're just nagging Gavin here because that's all that happens Thanks for your you. support, mate. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, you're just nagging him. Why, why couldn't the girl be like buzzing also, with what it, happened? It could, it well, she might have wanted him to stay. Maybe he's a fantastic lover. I mean, he's not a plumber by trade, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he's a fantastic lover. Did he have, <laughs> maybe she wanted him. Why, why didn't he have any money on him? Do you have any, any money in his a bank account or anything? I don't know. Could he not have, could she not just ordered him a taxi and then he could have dropped off a, 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 like a taxi ride. Christmas Eve, though, innit? Don't want to be faffing. He wants to get a Christmas Day now. Oh, right, Christmas yeah. Day. True, yeah. So yeah. even more family. reason why she wanted him to fuck off. It's Christmas Eve. Kids are waking up in the morning. Christmas Day at this point. Yeah, exactly. I don't think kids she's worried about up. kids if she's getting yeah, paid but on it Christmas Eve, mate. It, it, I don't think she's got kids, so she's like, oh, quick, you better go because I need to put presents You're on making the tree. a lot of assumptions. <laughs> There's different much? families out there. How right, much? but... I'm, not, I'm sorry, you're not a very good fucking mother if you're going out on Christmas Eve I'm not judging and then this getting woman. piped until 8am I think <laughs> you're, Christmas day. you're strong, independent and you've, you're prioritising yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. Right, yeah, there's nothing wrong with prioritising yourself when you've got kids Why on is Christmas he a plumber Eve? under the Christmas tree? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even look like a plumber by trade. <laughs> My issue is that he fingered her in the back of the taxi on the way to her house. you got to protect that Uber rating, haven't you? Mm. So if he has Uber, get an Uber. Well, he's, he's fingered her the night before. He's probably not allowed to get yeah. in anymore. <laughs> it might have been her Uber. Yeah, okay. I don't understand what Gavin's done wrong here. I think, yeah, he's been- I he's... don't think he's done anything wrong. No, it no. sounds like they both had a lovely time. I'm just saying, 
She didn't pay him for sex. She facilitated, facilitated, facilified. That, you're right. Yeah, go on. Her exit, his exit. Right. I, I feel like so I he's was not a sex But if I go to the red light district, as she goes, oh, I need the money up front because I need to get a taxi. Usually we do a bank transfer. Usually, like I've fucking had the same one for years. But usually we do a bank transfer. But I need to get a taxi. So can you get me in cash? She's not just by by automatic. Um, she's not automatically then not a sex worker because I give it her for the taxi. You've just described a very specific parameter that this situation does not exist within. <laughs> she is not paid. He has not been paid for sex. Science. Because because <laughs> I used to in that parameter. situation, you, you the transactional is I am paying for sex. That's the point here. Whereas the sex had already happened. There was no payment ever discussed. He needed the money for his taxi home. Therefore, he isn't a sex worker. <laughs> it does sound like every bloke ever, though. Fucking hell, I was so good. She gave me 20 quid. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Gavin. I tried to fight you fucking corner, mate, but you're not a sex worker. You've just, you've just got a taxi home. And by well, all if, accounts... If, if, <laughs> he, does, if he wants to go around telling people he is. Fair enough. But Do don't expect to agree with him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 20 quid's worth of pipe <laughs> <laughs> and that concludes this section of the podcast <laughs> Jack you got anything you want to get off your chest um not really basically um, I got I had sex with a man in 2014 <laughs> I gave him 20 quid and the cunt's still not paying me back <laughs> he's been telling everyone he's been telling everyone that I give him for sex not my voice or accent <laughs> <laughs> oh let's go straight down the stereotype room fair enough Aaron cancel yourself um, no, um, <laughs> I'm not going to get cancelled for doing a bad right. impression of Hull um, <laughs> I what, what's the question I've forgotten now have you got anything you want to get off your chest oh I'm, I'm really um, the rail strikes have annoyed me this this week yeah um, scum uh, that's, that's no that listen scum? I have been all for the rail strikes all oh, year, I mean, yes, yes. And then this week it lost me 500 quid and I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's quite ironic that they're angling okay. for better pay and taking away like, yours. <laughs> yeah, no, I was just like, and I think it is, I think they do need to strike. They do need know, to. That's the frustrating put, thing, but, isn't it? But the problem, so then I had to get a coach and then the coach was like loads of delays because there was, everyone was on the road or like, yeah. if you've not got to get to work, stay at home. Like, that's why I was, <laughs> like, don't go on a date out that day. Just, oh, just, there's too many there's too many. Just give them the money now. I know. These it's, 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 it they like deserve the it. They do deserve it. And I yeah. will say that. But it was heavy you, in Edinburgh. You, you're going well, to be, you're gonna be striking strikes. a lot more. You know, yeah. like just fucking get on your Thomas and do your job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board, but stop doing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I agree. It's not, the, it's not the fault of them for the strike. It's just, it's the company in it. Just yeah. fucking yeah. pay them and just get it done with. Like, what is the issue? It happened with the buses. Like, a, a, a reverb. Was it nationwide? I, I don't really use public transport, you know. Man's got a Skoda. But I'm just... Uh, just and he's not a plumber by trade. Thing, that, I do agree with I do agree with it. I think they should strike. I'm just annoyed that it affected it be, me. But of course you would be. And it's take, literally taking money from yeah. you. I get that. But, uh, like, it's it's the fucking... It's the Tory scum at the top. Yeah. And I'm just going to make it a political agenda. No, it's not, it's not the worker. They've got to do it. And, and if you go in on strike... You are the worst, aren't you? Yeah. If everyone's on strike and you're like, I'll drive the train, everyone's going to think you're a proper helmet. What are you doing? Why are you doing that? <laughs> Jack yeah. has got to get us a spiky mic. <laughs> 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 Need to get these wheels in motion. He's on his 19th trial. He's about to get paid work. <laughs> <laughs> Blessington carriage needs him. <sighs> but yeah, the, uh, <laughs> I, I, I do think that the, the issues at the top and with the, with the um, buses... Uh, they just paid them anyway. They give them exactly what they wanted. Yeah. What was the point in all those fucking... Do they really think that they're going to go, oh, do you know what? No, we will go back mm. in for the same pay. It's yeah. just fucking prolonging the inevitable scum. Fuck them. It was a lot in Edinburgh, though, like with the bin strikes as well. well the they, did strikes. you know that they did that? But, no. like, thank... They, they did bin strikes in Edinburgh, but it was like, it, it was a lot worse than you could fucking I, if imagine. If the Queen oh, passed the biz- away, like, two weeks earlier, it would have been during the fringe where, like, there'd have been... Thousands of performers there, bins overflowing, and then they're about to do that parade with a quitty to mean yeah. chaos. So the bins were like overflowing. Oh, overflowing, yeah. Google it, mate. Really? Overflowing is a different. Like you could well, genuinely one bin would fill this room. The population of the city, it's like a bit like Scrooge McDuck. Do you know when he jumps into the, <laughs> the money, swimming through? Oh, that's nice tea. Did it fucking? St- 
Yeah. It did smell. Stink. Oh my god, yeah. Nidri Street, where the monkey barrel is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it was just <laughs> overflowing. There was he picked up empty cider glasses with piss in him and he just went in. <laughs> oh <laughs> everywhere. One guy went passing a taxi finger in some snacks. It was fucking horrible. <laughs> horrible. The whole thing was horrible. Ah, that's Mingan and did that go on for the whole month? Yeah, the last yeah. two weeks. Oh, was it just the last oh, two weeks? That's what I got weeks. there. Yeah, you got it. It started yeah. on like the 18th, the strike, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And then they just I got there on like the 13th. It. Yeah. It's just the fuck I'm just waving at me bin and it's overflowing. <laughs> 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 at least you're not standing on it trying to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> did you just do another fart? No. Oh. Look, if you're going to fart on this podcast, at least have the decency. Do it, down the do it on the mic, yeah. So that the listeners and the viewers can hear it. Please do it, 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 <laughs> He has some good opinions, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. That's why you wanted to get off, off your chest? You I think so, yeah. You just to complain um, about your money and that? Yeah. Very self-centred. I, I don't know. There's, there's nothing to... I, I'll tell you, in my head, this was really funny when I thought of this. I thought... <laughs> and then I, I didn't do it. But what... I it's thought I knew you were going to ask me the question. Have you got something to get off your chest? And I thought, you know, it'd be really funny if I pull my top down and I've got something written. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking something off my chest. And I was laughing while I was having a shower about that. And then I wrote it down on a bit of paper. I wrote something down and I tried it in front of the mirror. And I was just looking at myself, going, "What are you fucking doing?" Wishing he died like, at 27. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny, mate. Like, and he's gonna get that reaction. Do you know what's uh, less funny? Explaining the joke. Exactly. That you yeah. never did. Can we cut it? And me doing it. <laughs> Have you got anything you want to plug, mate? First of all, thanks for coming on. Been a genuine pleasure. Thanks no, for thanks for having here. me. Uh, it's, yeah, you're welcome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, um, Have Facebook, you got you want to Twitter, plug? all yeah. that. But if anyone does follow me, TikTok, all that. I don't know. But it's I, weird plugging yourself. I, it? I'm new to all this. Like you guys are really getting on the forefront of the social media. We're trying your own we're podcasts and <laughs> like I'm just like yeah, no come one, see no me one at a gig. Don't like <laughs> just do what you want with life. Like <laughs> <laughs> you hope it come round for tea if you want. <laughs> <laughs> don't drink out my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's just, what's your app? What the audio? My art. Yes, the audio. <laughs> that's my, that's just, uh, my art. What are you want about, son? <laughs> my address. Um, Jack Gledo. Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I feel like we're having fun, and then we're just, you, you just both we're trying like, to get you. are literally trying to do your favourite. I didn't realise you said it reclined, but I didn't know it was like that. What? Like the recline? <laughs> no, but like I was looking for the button. I was looking for the, the recliner button when we first sat down and I didn't know I just had to lean back. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Great time to figure it out. I know, sorry. <laughs> Jack, no, no. Jack we, we've nearly finished the pod. You want to fucking... <laughs> figure out the furniture. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he, took, he only just finished it out now because I don't think he'd have stopped doing that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, yeah. I shat myself one. No, I, God knows why. <laughs> Give us three things you hate, mate. Three things I hate. Yeah. Um, unnecessary... Unnecessary... unnecessary <laughs> unnecessary big words unnecessary <laughs> lyrics in songs okay give us an example like um you've got have you heard the song daydream believer by um yeah. sleepy just got nice sleepy gene is it yeah so do you know how it starts uh no. it goes what number is this jim and they're like seven a what number is this jim seven a don't get excited it's because i'm short and then it starts the song right the fuck i didn't know that you not heard that right probably because it's cool and it's like um in be no it's not and then bewitched some people say i look like my dad it's that, it's like I know that. that one, yeah. And he's like, <laughs> don't need that in. Elton John. Um, uh, I don't slag off Elton John. If I you was get really a sculptor, <laughs> but then again, no. Like, don't put it in then, Elton. <laughs> like, j just, oh, what else? Oh, uh, over familiar workers. Like, do you know when you're going to get, like, you go get Subway or whatever, and they want to be your best mate? And you, you, I, I, all I want is I'm telling you what I want on my sandwich and you to give me it. I don't want to be your friend. You've like, just described all Americans, haven't you? That's like customer service yeah, there. Yeah, but like it's there. just too, oh, what are you doing today? I'm like, you're not bothered. Like, <laughs> don't ask. I, don't ask. Because you're told, like, where I used to work, um, I, I won't say it for legal reasons, um, <laughs> but um, so I was in Next and we were, um, the, 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 the like, they're like, oh, you've got to go up to every customer and ask them if they need any help, how the day is. And I'm like, the, people don't want that when yeah, they're walking in the shop. But we were told specifically that's what we go. And if, if a manager saw you're not doing it, you get told. So you'd see people walk in the shop and then they get bombarded at every angle of someone going, oh, you all right? You have a nice day. You all right? You have a nice day. Yes! I'm just here to get a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah. One more. Um, <laughs> I feel like he's getting blood red. <laughs> still, still in retail, uh, uh, abbreviations of like, um, so, uh, well, it's swept some jobs. So, so uh, th- they'll say senior manager, but they'll go, oh, the SM's coming. Oh, and yeah, you're like, I know just say senior mean. manager. I think it's in a lot oh, of the, jobs. Oh, the yeah. AM, PM, DM, BM. <laughs> well, just, it's called Barry. Like, just, just Barry's coming next week. Like, yeah, just SM or the PM. Like, it's called the Prime Minister. Like, just say say it or just... Oh, I'm getting really angry now, right at the end. 